another week in my life vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a reset. I have been traveling, my voice is shot. Um, this past month has been crazy and I'm back home and I just, I need to breathe. You know, I got back from Nashville last night. It was so fun if you guys haven't seen those vlogs. Came back to a lot of packages. My aura ring being the first one I've already unboxed. I feel so cool. On a walk, got some matcha. We have a lot of packages, so we're gonna unbox those really quick. Also, subscribe if you guys are new here. First thing I have is the Rare Beauty. I'm assuming this is the tinted moisturizer. This is like one of my favorite foundations and they sent it as tinted moisturizer. I am very excited. This might be too light for me, actually. I'm gonna go to Sephora and pick it up myself because I just, I love Rare Beauty. I use their stuff every day. I got three new Red Winning Housewife tumblers. Most of the clothes are sold out besides like certain sizes. I think there's like smalls left. Guys, I'm gonna do time lapses so you don't have to hear my voice today, so don't worry. Anyways, but like I just want more. I have one upstairs, I use these 24 seven. I think I have like seven now at my house. I love them, but these are still available. The hats are still available. The totes are still available. I got this vase that I needed for that corner for my like brown poppins, so we'll see how that works. I got spritz for the first time. I'm a fake friend. I cannot believe I haven't already ordered it. It's just like that thing that I always plan on ordering. It's like have it. I've heard amazing things, so I'm excited to try that. I got a bunch of Laura Mercier lip glosses, which is perfect. I've been wearing nails a lot recently. These are the first ones. I got them on Revolve. I just thought that they were so cute. Like, I'm sorry, but these are so cute. Hello. I'll link them below, but I just, I had to get them. I had to have them. Then I got these from Steve Madden. I just thought these would be like perfect for summer. They're just like platforms. My platforms from Steve Madden are always so comfortable and I love these. I also obviously order them. I'll link them below. So cute and also just like so good for a night out or dinner where you just wear a dress with them, like I love. Clearly, I'm into nude heels right now. Love that. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I'm excited for this because a good friend of mine took this from my PR and said it was the best thing she's ever used. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's just a CC Water Aqua Gel Skin Perfector. So I'll definitely be trying this. And then there's also like a super serum. I love oils and serums like so much. Beautiful. Oh, I think this is like a little bit of a Concealer, I will be using these. Oh, this is the double lotion. That's really cool. Okay, so that's my unboxing I need to get on meetings with dear media in like 20 minutes So we've got to get things together. Look at this knife, you know going to Pilates at 1. I have meetings throughout the day I have an event at Leela's at 4 which is exciting Um, and then we'll just we'll see where the day takes us, you know, my focus right now is Getting back into like a healthy routine, but also resting. I'm just tired I'm tired, so that's what we're doing. I'm back from Pilates. I have a meeting in five minutes. I just showered, I got ready, I ordered lunch. This is the outfit. I have to leave immediately after this to go to a little Lila's event. And then tonight, I just wanna be in bed. I wanna be reading. Um, I do need to figure out like, the menu for the week, so I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. That is what is on the agenda. I have my hair up in a bun because I went to hot Pilates. hair's tangled. I just got out of the shower. I like kind of dried my hair. It's still wet, but I just don't feel like doing the rest at all. So this is the best we're going to get. I have a podcast recording at one. I'm going on someone else's show and I was going to just make it for that. I'm getting my facial at three. My skin the past like month has just been acting up. I also have no tan on right now. I don't feel like myself. Went to Pilates this morning, got Starbucks, and here we are. I'm gonna do really simple makeup that I did yesterday that I really liked. Update on the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. It is incredible. Um, this is actually perfect for me when I have no tan on, which is really never, but currently I have no tan on. My legs look so bad. Like I've been trying to exfoliate the tanner off and it's just, it's taken a bit of time. 
so i just use a little bit of this i just love it it's really light but it gives you i mean it's not like obviously like full coverage but it just makes your skin look really healthy next i'm going in with the milk make makeup bronzer by the way i finished josh peck's book last night so good if you guys need a good like memoir it's just oddly like very relatable even if you don't really have anything in common with him like obviously child actor i didn't have like a weight loss journey i don't know how to describe it like there's something about the book that is incredibly relatable with someone who like wouldn't really be relatable to you next my two favorite products right now more rare beauty i have the rare beauty blush and happy and then i have the rare beauty highlighter in outshine i do the tiktok trick that margot showed me in cabo you just do two dots of blush and then three dots of highlighter and then i just blend it out with my beauty blender like the perfect amount of glow and color now i have brow gel This bronzer brush, by the way, I just got it recently. It's from Sephora. It's the Pro Bronzer 80 blush brush. I am not awake today. I've also been throwing it back to the NARS Laguna bronzer. This duo, love. Well, there we go. That's my makeup for an hour today. When I get back from my trip, I always just feel like a little bit weird. So I'm gonna just set the vibe of my house to be right, get some work done, and then I'm gonna get my facial today. Tonight I'm going to a new restaurant that opened on Henderson, which I'm really excited for. So anyways, this is the look. Gonna finish my coffee and just get on with the day. This week I've decided that I'm making the shrimp and corn salad rolls, and then also spaghetti with red pepper sauce and bacon. I'm going old school with my cookbook, all right guys? Just made the executive decision that I'm gonna stick to recipes that I've known um, because they had nothing from this cookbook on Instacart right now. I don't know what's going on. Also, this is a reset week. This is just getting back into my routine, getting back into like a healthy kind of like active thing, cooking from home, cleaning, you need to go through the closet. It's like one of those weeks, you know? I don't need to add more right now. But I do wanna start going back to like cooking and trying new recipes, especially in the spring, because I feel like I'm so much more into cooking in the fall and winter, because I love soups, I love like more like meaty things. I also just like don't cook super healthy. And since I wanna just cook from home all the time, I wanna have just like meals on deck, like I have just that I make all the time. Um, so if you guys have good recs, let me know. But I'm going to go back to making my brown rice pasta with eggplant. It's so good. Like, it is the best thing ever. And then just, like, avocado toast and normal stuff. That is the plan. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. I'm going to watch a video. And then we're going to get onto this call and get going. I am feeling way better and more myself. I just had a great recording for Doug's podcast. We recorded for my show last December. I think it was actually the first episode of 2021. And you guys loved it. Um, Coco loves to make noise whenever the camera comes on. Also, moment of silence for the fact that it's no longer the ugly light here. Love that. I don't know what happened. Like, I, this mirror just got cleaned. Anyways, um, I'm going to get a facial. I just took my makeup off and put some skincare on. And I'm going to get a facial from, I think Lauren's doing it, at Skin Farm, which is like a beautiful med spa in Dallas. So I'll take y'all with me and you guys are going to be like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I'll be like, yes, I know. You'll understand. So anyways, I finally feel in my element again. Anyways, also updates. I did order a new coffee table. Haven't found a new chair yet. That vase came in, so I need to put in those like pompous things. And then I need to move those blankets either downstairs or to like something and eventually find a rug i really just need to like finish finish this house and it's just a constant now i'm gonna have to read like replace the drapes at some point i mean it's just like i'm putting it off the drapes look a lot worse on camera though than they do in person by the way also that print just kind of like makes it all like go together a little bit more but anyways that's just a little house update you're off i have i just tried the super goop like vitamin c serum Oh my god, it was so incredible, like...
I'm back from my facial. I look insane. My face is still numb. The redness will go down in two hours or so. Um, but, wow. Like, look at this. Anyways, my skin's gonna glow and be hydrated and like plump after this, which is what we need. Grocery haul time, Smart Sweets, Dave's Bread. This is honestly like my most standard grocery haul that there ever could be, because it's my go-to meals. Um, this gluten-free spaghetti. I don't even care that it's gluten-free. It's just my favorite like pasta that I use. And then I love doing like an eggplant parm thing with it. So I have mozzarella, um, nut pods creamer, my favorite marinara sauce, apple cider vinegar, one of my favorite cold brews, and um, avocado. So that's what we have for the week. I'm eating out a lot right now. I just have a lot of like dinner plans. Like tonight I have another Dallas like new restaurant thing. So um, I didn't get too much because it's about to the weekend and then I go out to eat and whatever. So anyways, this is just what I have on deck. My skin isn't as red as it was, but it does definitely look crazy. Um, I'm wearing this purple lilac-y color top from Parade. This blazer is Zara. My jeans are Levi's. Boots are from Depop, so I guess, can you say thrifted? I mean, obviously, Depop is like an online thrift, but I feel weird saying they're thrifted. They're thrifted, I guess. Anyways, um, I found a cowboy dress that I want, and I've been wanting a cowboy dress for a long time. So I need to see, oh, I think that, okay, well, I feel like actually 40 by 28 will be good. And it's like a nice cowboy black and white print, which is perfect for me. So I do really like that. I think I will go ahead and order that, because I guess I can always return as well. It's this new thing I've been practicing this year. Um, anyways, here's the outfit. We're off. I'm going to Safuzi's Fuzi tonight. It's a new old restaurant in Dallas. So it used to be in Dallas. They closed and they just came back. It's on Henderson. It's right by all the bars that I go to. Fitz and I have been like just falling more and more in love this week. We've really been just having a time together. Anyways, it closes I think at 2. Um, I just made a bunch of Dallas TikToks too. If you guys need Dallas Rex, like always follow me on TikTok. But um, yeah, I'll be making a TikTok tonight of it and then getting, of course, some clips for the vlogs. But I'm really excited. I'm actually starving. Our reservation's on like 45 minutes. We might also, um, what's what I'm looking for? Our friend's going on a date tonight and we might just show up. So, you know, that'll be fun. Oh, look, like he just loves me. Also, guys, what do you like of the vlogs? Like, do you like them when they're edited really cute? Do you like when I'm just talking and have like a bunch of random clips together? Do you like when I just like set up a camera and I'm saying whatever, and then we're just kind of going from the day where it's really casual. Like, what do you like in the vlogs? I need a lot of comments. Um, let me know. Also, do we want sit down videos still? Like, do we want Amazon favorites and things like that? Do we want Fitz's favorites? Do you want to be? Do you want your own video? Huh? Uh huh? Oh, okay, Coco, you get your own video first. I'm so sorry. Could be very bad. I just got the shirt that Steven sent me in the mall. In the mall? What is up with me? I just got the shirt that Steven sent me in the mail. So cute. Listen to Stephen Paul music. Um, some of my things on my Yeehaw Box playlist. We went to the new restaurant in Dallas. It was so good, guys. The drinks were great. The food was great. Everything about it was incredible. It's on Henderson. It's like right next to like Skelly, basically. It's where I pretty much always am. And then we crashed our friend's date and uh, she didn't even see us, so it was incredible. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. It's only like 10, but I am 
wiped out. I might start Dolly Parton's new book with James Patterson. I'm getting all of her DMs. I see the messages, but I just like, it's one of those things that I've been waiting for for so long. I don't want to start it because then it's going to end. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Good night. Happy Thursday. I just got my matcha. Um, my body is finally making me just slow down. I really needed to just rest this week, but I just had random work stuff. So anyways, um, I canceled my workout this morning. I just like slept in. I had the best just time doing nothing. Just got my matcha. I'm about to go to my Botox appointment. It really is like a reset week. Um, and then after that I have therapy. I'm trying a new form of therapy today. It's like EMDR. Um, and I know it can be like really emotionally draining, so I don't vlog after, that is why. Um, but my plan this afternoon is just to be cozy in my house. I still have to work, but I'm just gonna like get cozy again and do it, you know? I won't be doing anything tonight, absolutely not. No, 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 no. I'm tired, I need to be home, and I just like need to, you know, get it together. Update on the aura ring, I love it. I think I'm better than everyone else because I have an aura ring. It is all I talk about, it is about 100% of my personality. I was on FaceTime last night with some friends and they were like, the way I am like with my aura ring, like on camera, it's like when a girl gets engaged and she has her ring. This is not on my ring finger, by the way. Well, it's on my right hand is what I mean. It only fits this finger and I'm like, it's kind of weird, but like people do it all the time. I don't think it's that weird. And I was impatient. I didn't want to like send it in to exchange the size. So anyways, um, I'm going to get Botox today. Oh, I get my Botox about probably like two to three times a year i want to say realistically two um just preventative but i love it i go to chelsea um it's always linked on my instagram it's like on a highlight mark on her that's how many units i can try to calculate that we're gonna do so let's count two four six eight this thing and then you like put it on your cheek not your forehead I made yeah. the mistake your cheek and then um, it doesn't even hurt at all it makes it to where it distracts you from even thinking that you're getting Botox and then with Kenzie's lips when we did her lips she uses it on her chin she doesn't really feel as much it's a little spicy but that just makes it to where you're not thinking about it as much it makes the process a little bit easier yeah and she also did my lips everyone that asked I got Botox from Chelsea as you guys saw um, you guys can use code Kenzie20. The information is on my Dallas Beauty highlight. Um, it's where I got my lip injections and I get my Botox and hydrofacials. I love her. Like today, I was just in a weird mood this morning. I got there and then I was talking to her and I'm like, wow, I feel amazing. Now I'm probably gonna be very sad after this therapy session, but I'm just saying Chelsea is the best. So anyways, oh my God, I am tired going into therapy now i'll maybe update you after we'll see i have no idea like i don't know if this is going to be an easy session or a hard one or like you know i have no idea hello guys the rooftop chats they're back i just came up to the rooftop the umbrella it's just falling over um there's lots of alcohol bottles up here from i guess the last like after party we had and uh the floors look disgusting the furniture it's been better i'm not gonna lie to you but um there's definitely some work that needs to be done on this rooftop anyways um therapy it's a normal therapy today actually we're doing emdr edmr emdr emdr next week but um, I had a good like therapy session, came home and I just like knocked out a lot of work. I was getting very overwhelmed for whatever reason and then I just like made a schedule, made a plan and now I feel good and now it is like 7, what is it, 7.22. I'm so not used to it being light outside still. 7.22 and I'm drinking a nice recess on the roof with my Skelly crew and my poppy sweats. I just self tanned so of course I look a little bit crazy. And I'm just having a nice night up here. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna relax. 
Um, I've just been going over like travel plans for the next few months and life is gonna be really crazy but really fun. Anyways, I'm just grateful for the rooftop. I forgot about this. I honestly forget I have this all the time, uh, which is like so stupid because it was a selling point of the house, but like, I don't know, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. It's fab up here. It's very fabulous. I really love it here. Um, I, side note, I have a few like country music docs that I want to watch and also a few books I want to read. I, you know, my one true love in life is country music, but I just, oh, Dom finally texted me back. She's ignoring me all day long. It's good to see she's alive. Um, anyways. So, just nice on the roof, and then we're gonna make dinner downstairs, maybe watch Nashville, maybe start the country dock. Just making sure that even though I have a lot of work to do, I'm not just like working 24 seven and like not doing other things. I need to take care of myself, you know? And that's not with anxiety. I have to do this stuff or else I will go crazy. But anyways, it just feels so good up here, you know? Happy Friday. Oh my God, I haven't taken my trash out. I need to do that. Um, this morning I walked the Katy Trail with Jessica and then um, I came home and I walked the dogs. I'm using my Way Dean Street perfume. I like need to declutter my house so bad. I feel like I do it all the time, but like things just like pile up here. Like I don't know how I ever lived in like apartments. Well, I think it's actually kind of easier because it's easier to like get rid of trash. You don't have like a you can just like use a trash you and not like your trash cans. But anyways, I have accumulated so many things and it's not stuff that I bought. It's mainly just like PR and things, which I feel guilty about because like there's just no way you can possibly use everything. I do donate and stuff and like I give away. I try to make sure they're used, but um, I feel bad to the companies and a lot of the time like I'm not even okaying the product. They just like have my address for whatever reason. So anyways, um, I'm very grateful. It's just like, I don't want to waste like the company's budget and I don't want to waste, like I don't have space. So I am just really yearning for a spring cleaning vlog in April. Maybe I will do my entire house and just like, I need to be in the mood for it though. I wanted to show you guys the skincare that I used. Um, this morning we're actually going to a coffee shop in Tebellum. I think we're gonna go to Merit and we're gonna get some work done for the Okai and it's currently like 9.30 um, and I just like wanna get ready. Yesterday was a really good, just like productive day and I'm finally just like, Feeling back in it. Oh my gosh, reset, rest. Um, I watched the Dolly Parton documentary last night. It's like a comfort watch. I just, I love her. I have my coffee. Like, we're just, we're getting the day going, guys. Okay, this week I started using the Super Goop Daily Dose. This stuff is really good. It is a Hydra, oh, I always thought it was, SP, I thought it was vitamin C. Hydra Ceramide, is that what I'm saying that right? Boost, plus SPF. SPF 40, I didn't even realize that. I love this. I've also tried the Hope in a Jar Philosophy. I grew up on my Philosophy products, so it's like so crazy that like I have, like they gift me their stuff because I love Philosophy. Um, I've been using the Biome Balance Glow Serum, love. Um, of course, I've been using Super Goop Glow Screen. This is my all-time holy grail. There's no product I love more than this. I'm probably on my like 50th. I have so many in my PR drawer and that's the best thing ever. I literally just go and take one because I use it all the time. Oh, another thing I've been loving, I have lip gloss on right now, which I'll show you guys in a second, but the Finish like CBD lip balm, I put this on when I do like skincare and it's just like 10 out of 10. I also got the Laura Mercier. Um, this is the Rose Syrup 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 why I, you know when you start talking and all of a sudden everything sounds weird this lip gloss i love it i mean it's kind of like off now i don't have any makeup on besides this and i adore it 
for hair products this week um, i actually have been using this i love dp hue my best like hair care product rep is the dp hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse justin anderson is coming on the pod soon literally love him the show the episode with him is so good it's gonna go up i think like the next month but anyways he is obviously dp hue so this stuff the apple cider vinegar rinse is so good um to replace shampoo and especially good if you have product buildup then i've been using the dp hue color fresh the leave-in mist i just spray this throughout my hair before i brush it out because obviously it's like color treated hair um my hair has been taking so long to dry with extensions and i also they need to be like taken up but my sister is booked for like the next month and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to like somehow bribe my way through that. So yeah, those are the products that I've been using. Um, I ran out of my perfume, so I've just been trying different ones that I have. And um, here we are, spraying more, you know? Just can never smell too good. This is also a light perfume. It's a good daytime perfume. You just smell very clean. Love that. So anyways, I am not gonna do makeup because I'm gonna do makeup later and I just like, don't feel like doing it twice today. Um, I'm gonna brush on my brows though. It doesn't really I like the Kosas this brow gel. It's good guys um, But that's all I'm gonna do for makeup because I don't feel like putting makeup on I might stop at Sephora today because I do need to pick up a few things and it's a Sephora sale So I might be making a little pit stop there um, But yeah, we're working today. Hope you guys enjoy my little product faves. Oh, I started reading Josie Silver's new book and I'm loving it. One Day in December by her was such a good book. I adored that book. And this one is like, so, like One Night on an Island or something like that. I actually don't know. Anyways, I'm really liking it so far. So love that for me. I'm gonna go start doing some laundry and then we're gonna leave pretty soon and head off to Merit, I think. Here is my outfit. This sweater set is H&M and it's just one of those sets that like I will probably keep forever. I love it. I randomly score at H&M. I don't know how that, you know what? The vest is also H&M. See, this is what I'm saying. I randomly get incredible things from them. And like sometimes it's it's really hit or miss. Like sometimes I like don't really find anything. And then other times when I find stuff, I wear it forever. Like that long beige coat that I have that I wear like every day in the fall and winter. Also H&M, I'll keep that forever. So anyways, I love this vest. I think it's H&M. Maybe it's not actually. Let me see. I do have a beige. No, it is. I have two beige vests from them and I love the other one's smaller. So anyways, I love this vest. I have my Prada loafers on and this is my going to work at a coffee shop outfit. Cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna go pick my laundry downstairs. This is me procrastinating doing that. It's like, as we know, like the main of my existence, like there's no one who hates taking her laundry downstairs more. But I also have three floors and like for whatever reason, they keep getting big laundry baskets. Like there is an easy fix to this and it's like, I haven't done that. So, you know. Guys, this tote bag, I'm telling you right now, incredible, feel kind. First time I'm saying it, it might have been posted by now, but launches April 21st. Ow, I just spit my cheek. Uh, it launches April 21st, so go follow us, set your alarms, post it on your stories, tag us, everything. Um, but it's very exciting. So anyways, you guys can get your own tote bag on April 21st. These are literally the best bags ever. I use it 24 seven. So anyways, you know what? You guys feel like so clean and put together. That's how I'm feeling today. So I'm loving this vibe for myself. Here we are. Cute, off to merit we go. My favorite lip gloss. I'm also burning up, but I stopped at Sephora. I only picked up two things. The first was the Rare Beauty um, Tinted Moisturizer. It's so great. I just needed it in a darker color for when I am tan. Um, I will link it below. It is like the best tinted moisturizer. I'm obsessed with it. I just love Rare Beauty. And then I also got this candle. Um, it was just on sale and I needed a new candle. So that's what we have. Currently making lunch. I almost had dinner. Gonna do a few more hours of work and then we have a really early res at Sedell's, which just opened in Dallas and so did Carbone, but getting a reservation to Carbone is like next to impossible right now. So we're going to Sedell's um, and then we're gonna go to Honor Bar for dinner and then we're going out tonight. So I'll take you guys a little bit along. 
gonna be good. Um, I'm just getting some stuff done, but we had a really productive hour or two. No, like two or three hours at Merritt in Deep Ellum. It was great. I love, I love the area. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm just so hot right now. want to just change it right now we want to get rich overnight we want to change our jobs overnight it doesn't happen like that unfortunately you mentioned blueprint i think it's so important that every person sits down right now and rewires like how did they get to this point start addressing maybe some of the insecurities or challenges or maybe when you made critical decisions in your life you know how prepared were you to make those decisions